Hey there, uh, in my last video, uh, we understood the concepts behind the cell mediated immunity. In this video, I will discuss the humoral immunity. The word humoral means relating to the body fluids. That means this type of immunity is active against the extracellular pathogens which are present in the body fluids, unlike the cell mediated immunity which is active against the intracellular pathogens. Now, this humoral immune response is the one which is mediated by the antibodies, okay? And that's why this immune response is also called as antibody mediated immunity. Now, these antibodies are produced by the cells which are called as the plasma cells and these plasma cells are derived from the B lymphocytes and these B lymphocytes are lying dormant in the lymphoid tissue. So, a foreign antigen comes and activates these B lymphocytes, B lymphocytes get converted into plasma cells and then the plasma cells are going to produce the antibodies. Let's try and understand the stages of the humoral immune response. The first stage is antigen processing and presentation. Second stage is recognition of this processed and presented antigen by the lymphocytes to be more specific here the B lymphocytes and then once the B lymphocyte recognizes this antigen, the B lymphocytes become active and then they can get converted into the plasma cells and the plasma cells produce the antibodies and then these antibodies are going to attack the foreign antigens and this attack could be of two types. It could be a direct attack or it could be an attack which is occurring via the activation of a system called as the complement system. So, these are the stages. Let's try and understand each stage one by one. So, the first stage is what is called as antigen processing and presentation. So, this cell, what you are seeing here, it is called as antigen presenting cell. Okay. And here, this is a foreign antigen, what you are seeing here. So, once this antigen presenting cell, this is having the capacity of phagocytosis. Once it gets to know that there is a foreign antigen which is lying in the body fluids or in the blood or in the serum, it goes there and it engulfs this foreign antigen, okay. Uh, that is called as a phagocytosis and once it has engulfed, this foreign antigen is covered by a membrane. So, this antigen bound by the membrane is called as phagosome, okay, phagosome. Now, there is one more cell organelle which is present inside the antigen presenting cell. Now, this is called as lysosome lysosome and what does the lysosome has? The lysosome has these enzymes, okay. Lysosome is having these enzymes. Now, what happens is this lysosome is going to bind with the phagosome and they are going to form one single big structure and this is what is called as phagolysosome. This is called as the phagolysosome. So, now what is happening is the lysosome is going to release all its enzymes and by that this antigen will be broken down here in the fourth step we are seeing it is broken down into smaller antigenic fragments okay and many of the leftover fragments of these antigens are thrown out of the cell by exocytosis but few of them they go and bind to these complexes which are present on the cell surface and these are the one which are called as major histocompatibility complex. And I have already explained you regarding the major histocompatibility complex with respect to the cell mediated immunity because it's an antigen presenting cell. The major histocompatibility complex here is major histocompatibility complex 2. And this antigen bound to the major histocompatibility complex will be now presented to the B lymphocyte. Okay, so this is the first step of antigen processing and presentation. So, next is like this is what now this was the antigen presenting cell. This is our major histocompatibility complex 2, and this is our antigen to which the uh, MHC is bound. Now, this antigen has to be recognized by the B lymphocyte. Now, 
even in the cell mediated immunity i told you the same thing that is once there is antigen processing and presentation the t lymphocyte has to recognize the foreign antigen and how did the t lymphocyte recognize the foreign antigen in case of cell mediated immunity the t lymphocyte recognized the foreign antigen because of the presence of the surface receptor on the t lymphocytes which are called as t cell receptors now similarly the b lymphocyte is also having the surface receptors but the B lymphocyte is having immunoglobulin as a surface receptor here. This is the difference, okay? And mostly the type of immunoglobulin will be immunoglobulin D, which helps in the recognition of the antigen. So now this antigen is going to come and bind to this immunoglobulin. And once there is recognition of this antigen by the B lymphocyte, we are going to enter into the next step, which is called as antigenic stimulation so here it's the same diagram this is the antigen which was bound to the major histocompatibility complex 2 and these are were present on the antigen presenting cell now once the antigen is recognized by the surface receptor in this case the immunoglobulin the b lymphocyte is going to become active and the B lymphocyte now changes its structure as well as function and it becomes a larger cell and this larger cell is what is called as a lymphoblast. lymphoblast. And this process of transformation of the B lymphocyte into the lymphoblast is what is called as blast transformation. Blast transformation. And now the lymphocyte, the sorry, the lymphoblast is going to proliferate into two types of cells. Okay, one is called as the plasma cell, and another one is called as the memory B cell. Memory B cell. What's the function of the plasma cell? The plasma cell is going to produce the antibodies. And what's the function of the memory B cell? Similar to the function of the memory T cell, which I had discussed in the cell mediated immunity, the memory B cell is associated with what is called as a secondary immune response. Secondary immune response. Here, we shouldn't forget one very important thing that this conversion of the lymphoblast into the plasma cells is aided by one very important cell and which that cell is a part of the cell mediated immunity which is called as t helper cell 2 t helper cell 2 okay it's a part of the cell mediated immunity and the t helper cell 2 is going to secrete some cytokines like interleukin 4 interleukin 5 and interleukin 6 which are going to stimulate the lymphoblast and then the lymphoblast is going to get converted into the plasma cell. And I told you this cooperation which is occurring between the T cell and the B cell is called as TB cooperation. It is called as TB cooperation. Never ever forget to write this point regarding the helper T cell which are facilitating the formation of the plasma cells and hence formation of the antibody. So, this entire process, what I have explained to you, is called as lymphocyte activation, okay, and formation of antibodies, okay. So, now once antibodies are formed, the antibodies are going to attack by two methods. One is a direct attack. So this direct attack can kill the antigen by agglutination, it can kill it by precipitation, it can kill it by neutralization and it can also kill it by cytolysis. But remember one thing that the direct method is not the strong method and it doesn't play a major role against invaders. The major role is played by activation of something which is called as the complement system so let's try and understand what is this complement system very briefly okay attack via the complement system so what is this complement system this complement system is a system of 20 proteins it's a system of 20 proteins these are nothing but the enzymes precursor enzymes okay and the 
Among this 20, the 11 are the one which are most important and which are named from C1 to C9 and B and D. Okay. So, these proteins are the precursor enzymes. They are present among the plasma proteins itself, but they are present in an inactive state. So, the combination of antibiotics antigen and the antibody, the antibody which is formed from the plasma cell is going to combine with the foreign antigen and this antigen antibody complex is the one which is going to activate the complement system. So, if at all the complement system is getting activated by a combination of antigen and antibody that is called as classical pathway, classical pathway of activation of the complement system okay i'm not going into the details of the complement system if you want i will make a separate video on that but ultimately this is going to form what is called as a membrane attack complex a membrane attack complex a very strong complex which is going to cause cytolysis of all the foreign antigens okay so this is how we describe the stages and the mechanism of humoral immunity. I have also made a video on the cell mediated immunity. I will leave the link of that video in the description below. Please do watch that video and if you have liked and if you have understood this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and share this video as much as possible.